What's up, homies? This is Jokesta back at you with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys my thought process in every search and destroy match. What am I thinking? So the first thing first, I'm going to tell you guys, um, what do I do? So the first thing is I look at who is partying up. Usually when you play solo queues, you can see that there's a few people that partied up in the game. And uh, that usually means that they're going to try hard. They're usually trying to impress their friends or their teammates. So usually you're going to have to sweat a little bit. So um, this is the guy. Yeah, he's partied up. So you can see that he's using the Krig 6. It's one of the best guns in the game. And that's usually the case. Usually like when people party up they're they're going to try their best. Um, so you have to always look out for those guys. The second thing is that I look forward to is the way that the enemy plays. You always have to pay attention. Are they playing aggressive? Are they playing passive? Um, what's their weakest points? And the weak point right now that I saw is that I was able to get into Last that little game. spot. The only issue is that there was somebody guarding that from behind, which got me killed. This is a good indicator right here that there's a sniper on A to avoid going A because you don't want to get sniped. There's a second sniper. Another reason why you shouldn't go on A. Um, now, these snipers could switch off and go to mid. So you do not want to probably push mid next round. But in my case, um, I'm going to be pushing mid because I think I have a chance to go. It's a, basically a gamble. You have to gamble it. You have to be like, okay, well, I don't want to get sniped, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so I'm going to be rushing mid next round. This is taking way too long of a round. Um, so yeah, we're gonna skip forward. Our actually, our teammate nice clutched that. That yeah, was kind of nice. Now, usually for this map, this you can actually rush B. Nobody really watches B at any point. I don't know why nobody watches it. It's just very easy to push B, but there's nobody there. Um, but we're here just, just, you know, we're trying to get some kills. Um, so let's go ahead and try to push through here. We got one of them. Okay, let's keep going. So what I'm thinking here is like, hey, I got to push this because my enemy, my teammates are pushing through and I, I got to make sure I get their backs. Okay. My teammates up there. Two down. The bomb's still in spawn. I'm not really sure if there's a last guy back there. But we, we're, oh, they got him. I'm not going to push A at all because I know there's three sniper or two snipers, Destroy one person with an assault rifle up there. So I'm, I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to go ahead and try to rush B and uh, get a bomb plant. Usually I'm trying to win the match, not um, get the kills here. I'm just going for the wins. So I want to I want to win rounds. You know, this is the whole point. If you're trying to play, uh, if you're trying to play, you, you, you want to go for the dubs. So I'm trying to get a dub here. Let's see, nobody back there. I got my teammate covered. It's all up to you now. Now it's up Finish to me. Okay, cool. So it's the 1v3 at this situation. You want to take out one player at a time, get some cover. You want to kill that guy. We, of course, we're not going to win this round because it's a 1v3. It's a really difficult spot to be in. So usually when you pick off a player, you want to back up as much as possible. You don't want to put yourself in a weird position. If you're Lost fighting somebody, not over yet. you want to make sure Ready you're up. not the guy in the middle. There's Let's just say that there's three people here, right? You, you want to make sure you're avoiding that and that you're facing two of them you know, in front of you. So that's kind of the situation Destroy here. The he may have said almost, but this was... Um, this was a really tough round for them because it was a very fast bomb plant. They weren't able to do much. So it was it was hard for them. Damn. Okay. The enemy has the bomb. Right off the bat. Sheesh. Now keep in mind the way I died should tilt a lot of people. A lot of people should be like, yo, this is very annoying. Look at that. Our entire team is rushing B right now. You have to also pay attention to your mini-map, see where everyone's going. Let's see how these guys play. Nobody's watching this at all. Damn. Enemy has dropped a bomb. Nobody's watching that. Sheesh. Okay, so they're all hitting A. Now, um, that's a good thing because now I can just leave leave B, B alone. And there we go. So they're going to probably rush B next round. This is the part where we are going to have to play defense a little better. Um, like I said, when it's the first round, you have to pay attention how your enemy plays. And um, now that we switched sides last round, I was able to push and see how they played. 
Now I know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to rush B right now. They're going to hit hard. And we're going to have to defend this spot. They're going to... They're going to hit B for sure. I guess not. You see, that's where I was wrong. I was like, yo, they're going to... They're gonna hit B hard, but instead they actually hit A, which is surprising. Um, not a lot of teams do that right away, right off the bat. Yikes, how did he? Okay, so maybe I was wrong. They did hit B. They just backstabbed us right there. Yeah, so this is gonna be a wrap, but that's just the first, this is usually what my thought process is um, for search and destroy is it's like every time you have to pay attention to how the enemy plays um step number two is actually predicting the enemy where they're gonna go so when you play the first round pay attention how they they do it are they aggressive are they passive and um yeah this is pretty much it i don't know if the team is gonna clutch this yeah i think they're gonna clutch this yeah it's gonna be a wrap here but dang this guy just dropped an ace um but back to the topic yeah it's a um there's a lot of thinking you have to do you have to pay attention you don't want to you don't want to make mistakes um another thing is how i died with that quick scope i would be tilted that's what i was going to say i was i was like yo i'm going to be tilted about this but you have to sometimes let that go and just move past that and keep your mind cleared for the next round every round is fresh keep that in mind every round is fresh you don't want to be going into a round where you're like still thinking about the past so yeah we only dropped eight kills this was a pretty fast game all right, so we're gonna play the same map that we played last round. And right now I'm gonna be explaining how I actually think in this match. I'm gonna go ahead and explore a little bit deeper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rush A. And the thing is, I'm gonna smoke off uh, the site. I'm gonna pull out my gun right here at this corner and try to pick this guy off. There's another player right back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide, pick this guy off. This guy jumped out of there. He turned right into this little spot right here, but that's okay. Nobody in their spawn. That's another thing to pay attention to. We're going to go ahead and try to look to the right. He's upstairs. No, he's actually down Bombers here. There he is. There we go. So it's all about nice work. timing, for the next positioning, and calculating where they're going to go. So pay attention to that. Like, I'm going to go ahead and try to rush mid this time. Right, right now, the enemy is building oh, up a objective. bigger defense on A. Bomb. They're going to step it up. They're going to be like, you know what? We're going to have more people there. We're going to watch this thing as a hawk. And uh, we got one guy. I'm going to reload. And then I'm going to jump right into this pre-aim, this spot. The There's trip mines everywhere. There's trophies up there, too. Ah. Oof, that was a hard spot. Oof, I'm kind of in a sticky situation. But I got that. There's another sniper back here. They got a lot of people watching this mid area, which is not really a comfortable spot to be in. To be quite quite honest with you guys all right there we go so this whole time i'm thinking about what's my next step and the more i play i'm thinking about like hey i'm gonna try to pursue and keep pushing and keep pushing all right so there is one all the way back there using the ak 47 props to you buddy another thing to mention is that watching how the enemy plays i've noticed that there's a few people on b site they usually just chilling you know uh probably they're defending the site of course but they're just basically there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to push mid try to pick off a player or two and as soon as i got i was trying to push i didn't expect this guy to be there all right now that we're on the other side we're gonna be playing aggressive what we're gonna do is we're gonna peek mid um i want to see how these guys hold mid or how they push mid it seems like we already have three people on a so that was a good call you always want to pay attention to where your teammates are going so there's nobody watching mid at all except for this guy he got absolutely lasered we're gonna push up now seems like they're hitting b they really want to win these rounds so yikes okay so they're hitting b so this is kind of what i call a panic move is when they decide to actually rush a site where there's yeah, nobody at they know b is open so they're going to try to rush b every and round and try to plant the bomb so what we're going to do is we're going to rush out of b for the next round. and try to see if we can catch these guys they're going to try to hit b and they're going to try to plant it so another thing to mention is that last round there was one player at mid he was trying to like yeah, flank bomb. And that's a smart player, you know, shake my head meta abuser, bro, chill, like, it's a part of the game. Gosh, alright, let's go ahead and move up here. 
As you can see, there's already two players out here trying to kill everybody. Here we go. One down. Two down. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Yeah, I think the rest of them are hitting A now. See, my teammates are holding down the spots. Oh, there was one around the corner. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to rush out on A. So this is where we're going to avoid going B, avoid going mid. We're going to just rush A. Just try to run this thing. I'm, I know that there's in, there isn't going to be a player on A. They're all hitting B. They all really like B. We got the bomb too, so that's big. That's a big game right here. That's good. So there got to be one more at mid. The bomb's right here. I was going to put a C4 on that thing, but I was like, eh, not really worth it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a wrap. Actually, I'm going to put it right here just in case. GG's. So yeah, guys, that's kind of a, a little bit of a rundown on how I play my thought process inside the games. I hope this uh, little thing helped you guys out. Um, we dropped 16 kills. Pretty good game. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the gunsmith. So this is the gunsmith for the CBR that I was using. Honestly, this CBR legendary is different compared to the mythic for sure. hundred percent. There's like less recoil, less shake and all that stuff. So, um, it's very interesting. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.